Stephen works as a sales manager and was tasked with making a prediction on sales figures for the Christmas period. All of his prediction models showed that a certain product would outperform all the others, and he recommended to his company that they buy more stock of that product. After the season ended, Stephen determined from actual sales figures that his predictions were inaccurate, and the company now had surplus unwanted stock based on his recommendation. Even though Stephen's models worked correctly, his data were found to be unreliable and invalid. Valid and reliable are often used interchangeably to describe data, but in statistics, they are independent properties of data. Data that are measured reliably indicate that using the same test multiple times would result in the same outcome every time. The validity of the data is a measure of how true the data that have been measured are. For example, the same set of scales will give the same result after every measurement, meaning the data collected are reliable, as each experiment yields the same result. However, if the scale was out by 5 kilograms, then although the data are reliable, they are not valid, as the measurements will not be an accurate representation of reality. It is therefore possible that many experiments will yield consistently reliable but invalid results, and inferences can wrongly be made from such data. An example of where data were reliable but not valid are the opinion polls conducted in advance of the 2016 United States presidential election. Almost all public opinion polls indicated that the result would be different, with Hillary Clinton winning the presidency. We now know that all these polls were wrong. Although she won the popular vote in the key swing states, uh, they were inaccurate. So what led to these reliable but invalid forecasts? Analysts differ on exactly what led to the incorrect forecasts, but the general consensus points to three problems with the predictions. Firstly, the selection of individuals taking part in the polls was inaccurate, leading to a prediction that favoured a proportion of the population with a contrasting view than that of the whole population. It is therefore vital that the sample is an accurate representation of the whole population. Secondly, the response, and lack thereof, to public opinion polls indicated that the result would be in favour of Hillary Clinton. Individuals not responding to questions posed by pollsters resulted in a large proportion of the population being misrepresented by opinion poll data. The third problem which these opinion polls faced was bias. Opinion polls conducted by large news corporations might be biased towards voters on one side of the political divide. They can further exploit viewers with misleading information or fake news. 